I'm already into a dandy. So our day has come to an end, just past seven o'clock now. We've came uh, only three kilometers. The first four hours of our day, we were doing that portage. And I mean, that took up a lot of time. Then we got down to the river for uh, a couple hours and it was rocky and steep and I could smell it coming. I could smell it coming. Portage number nine about to begin. Steamed up in here right now. But look at my forehead. Just got blasted today. <laughs> wow. This is the fly bite massacre from yesterday. Not looking too bad. Not as bad as it was last night. Uh, it's a lovely day here. Always nice to start off like this. The last couple hours have been absolute torture. Just boulders everywhere, dragging over rocks consistently. And it's a, it's a rocky road to Red Wine Lake, let me tell you. Rocks are slippery and slimy. So I'll get the fatigue here now in this leg of the trip. Okay. So we uh, we made it to camp here. Uh, got a nice little spot. River is pretty small now, as you can see. There's not much to it. Just seen a bear right across the river from us. Right across, look. Oh no, there, yeah. See that? I seen him again a second ago, just a glimpse. He's in the bush over there. I'm gonna fire off a warning shot here now. It's getting close to dark. Not a huge fan of seeing one right across the river. I just finished up or two. God knows what's on our side. Deep water here now, just trying to cross this river. Uh, we had to get to the other side as we wound up on an island right in the middle. Come on, good boy. Stay over there now, don't go into those bushes. Good boy. This is what we're dealing with today, and there's another waterfall straight ahead. Hopefully once we get up over that, it looks like it flattens out for a little bit.
can hardly believe our eyes. After 120 kilometers of upriver travel, we've struck the first headwater lake. Thinning rations mean we need to increase our daily travel average and reach our resupply soon. It awaits near Smallwood Reservoir, still 100 kilometers away. We got rewarded. And there, my friends, are some bake apples. Oh, they're juicy. Oatmeal of the day, maple and brown sugar with a handful of baked apples thrown in there. So me and Saku are just out now in the lake. Uh, we got a couple kilometers in, about halfway across it. In another little while, we'll be at the river mouth that we need to take up to Red Wine Lake. So, looking forward to see uh, what's going on over there. Getting on the lake to paddle right now is like a whole, it's a whole other expedition. It's completely different than what we're used to. Nice little speckled. Uh, we're getting closer to Red Wine Lake, so the fishing might get better. Look at that. Nice trout. Number four now at this little spot. Uh, we're getting into the fish now. Uh, he's not too big, but I'll, I'll throw him in the bag tonight. We've made Red Wine Lake, something I was thinking about for a long time, and now we're here. Today will be uh, eight days in a row that we've we've moved. So I think tomorrow we're due for uh, a break, and uh, I got to paddle for another 11 kilometers. How cool is that? We're just at the back of Red Wine Lake now, which is pretty sweet. Next stop is Smallwood Reservoir. Uh, it's around 80 to 85 kilometers from here. We still got some upriver lining to do, some portaging. Just out hanging out by the fire, it's hard to go to sleep. It's beautiful, it's a nice calm night. Cooled off, uh, so the heat is appreciated from this fire. It's nice to hit a goal like Red Wine Lake. It's exciting, it's fun, and that's what keeps you coming back for more.
that should do for the rest of the day. What do you think, Saku? What do you think, bud? That should do, eh? So that's a feed of trout left over from yesterday's catch. Alright, she's all done. So, Sack, you ready to eat yours? Go on. Go ahead, good boy. I had to let Sack was cool off for a bit. And I basically took all the bones out of mine, put it back in, stirred it around. I cool stir fry now. cup of tea, cliff bar for dessert, one of about 300 I'll eat on this trip. <laughs> hey, they're convenient, and they pack a punch. Beautiful little afternoon out there now. Winds have died a little. Got frosty last night here in uh, the big land. Woke up, everything outside was frosted over. Uh, my tarp, tent, boots, beer barrel. So fall comes quicker up this way. Today, uh, we're back into the river right away. It's, it starts just behind our camp here. I can't believe that uh, it's been 21 days since we left. 21 days, three weeks, it's a long time, isn't it, Saku? Hey? It's a long time, buddy. Three weeks in the bush. So here's a little peek of what we got left in the food barrel. Pots and pans, Saku's food, a little bit of peanut butter, bannock mix, four or five handfuls of trail mix, oatmeal, Cliff bars, one pack of jerky, and uh, some coffee and some oil, and uh, a few suppers. That's it. And within three minutes, we're out of the boat. Dragon sack up this little tiny entrance to the river now. Just nice to be in the river like this, hey? Starting the day, everything's very quiet. Hey, buddy. That's our waterfall number one. I think I'm going to take the left side. It looks a little more friendly. The falls gave me a few trout. I lined up this one. Looks like this river here today is just dropping constantly from this highest lake.
Look for him just hanging out, hey? Scratching his face. Shaking the flies off him is what he's doing. Wicked, wicked. What do you think, Zach? He didn't seem one bit scared though. Just kind of hung out. Anyways, that was cool. What do you think, Saku? You were pretty chill about it, weren't you? Good boy. Portage, it is. We just brought over round one, didn't we, Saku? So, the barrel's left in the canoe. Man, getting sick of this now. Portage and all day. And I know there's more to come. Can't wait to get on Smallwood. Paddling for days on end and there'll be wind days too won't all be easy to be wind in your face that's going to be tough but i'm just getting sick of these portages every other day anyways gotta be done We're in a beautiful little area of the upper Red Wine River between Red Wine Lake and the next lake, which is unnamed. That's where we're trying to get. But this is a nice, neat little spot of the river. It's quiet, it's calm. Got a nice little brookie on here now. I'm up in the boat. Oh, uh, it's not very big. But they all add up when you're hungry out here. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's three. They're not, I don't think they're eagles. Anyways, they've been hovering around up there for the last 20 minutes. We pulled in and fished here by the stream and they're just hanging out up there. There must be a kill or something down below over there in the woods and they're keeping watchful eye on it. Interesting for sure. Damn it. She's beautiful though. So everything is up from down there except for the canoe. This is an extremely steep hill. I mean, it's a cliff more or less with some mass on it. But it was either here or go over on that side, which is just as steep, but it's thicker woods. Not quite sure how I'm gonna get this up. What's that look like to you, Saku? This is pretty much the end of the Red Wine River. There's a little bit left more, but this is it. This is the prize. Get up to this lake. Now I can paddle to the end of it. Find a nice campsite. That goes to another lake, to another lake. And then we're almost small wood, so... I don't know what to think of this. I was waving a white flag a few times, just wanted to, you know, give up. But you can't. I'm never going to be able to tell the story as good as what it is and how it's happening. 
no video, no writings, no photos. Me, I can't describe it well enough, what has gone on so far. And another reward for getting up the Red Wine River into this lake, trolling along, decent trout. Does it ever feel nice to get out of that thing? Oh man. Another day in the books. We did well, Saku. We did well today. What do you think? I think we covered oh, close on 20 kilometers. Lovely day. It's all good. So I'm just going to throw on the remainder of yesterday's trout for Saku for his breakfast. Hey Sack. And then we'll be on our merry way, won't we? Lovely campsite we found yesterday evening here on this rock overlooking this unnamed lake. This was supposed to be a little meandering two kilometer stretch to finish Red Wine River and uh, there's ledges on top of ledges. Most of them I can drag the canoe up. Not a whole lot of water coming down. But man, working for it here. So there's, I just went up over three. A couple more up there. Like the indigenous people, trappers, and early explorers before us, we've reached the Labrador Plateau, otherwise known as the Height of Land. It hangs nearly 2,000 feet above Northwest River, where we began our expedition three weeks ago. 130 kilometers lie between us and the nearest civilization. This is wilderness.
so today we completed the entire length of the Red Wine River. You know, we went through a lot there. It took us 22 days uh, to get through it. But now we're officially up on the height of land of Labrador. Next up is Smallwood. Beautiful morning out there it seems like. Calm for big wind gusts today. Uh, and my weather device. Time will tell. This is what it's come to now. Just little trickling streams and brooks. I won't be dragging up that one. I'm gonna drag the canoe on the bushes alongside. Uh, we get into a small pond up here. And from that pond, we're gonna have a some sort of portage bushwhack over to the Pike Lake system. And that's gonna take us down to Smallwood. So let's do this, Zach. Not so bad now, where the canoe is considerably lighter than it was earlier in the trip. Lots of food gone, only a couple days left compared to 25 days for both of us. That's significant weight loss. So there's nothing to that. Took us every bit of five minutes. Now I'm in this next little pond looking for another little trickle of water to take up to a very, very, very small gully. And on the back of that, we portage around half a kilometer to this Pike Lake river system. So I think I can see it now. We're coming up on it. Thought we were coming up on the little trickle, I guess not. Got to keep my eyes peeled. Very easy to miss something like this. This is, I'm talking a very small stream. Uh, you can barely depict it on, the, on my topographical maps. Keep your eyes open, Saku. Scout it out, bud. Bingo. That's it. Next little tiny pond is just over there. So through those woods is our portage. I'm gonna pull in now. I'm gonna take my pack, the ax, and go mark a trail. We'll come back and get the rest of the stuff. Hey, Saku boy. Alright, time to go scout a trail. Blaze mark number one. Going's not too bad. It's pretty thinned out. I'm making my own canoe route here. 
I can't say in recent history anyone's ever came in here on a paddling trip, especially connecting these two uh, very random and remote small bodies of water. So we're through the portage here. Uh, everything's over. This is the next little pond. We gotta go up. And there's a stream at the end of it. So up there we'll take that. We'll just continue to take streams and small rivers and brooks and ponds and lakes until we get to Pike Lake. Uh, I think that's roughly from here, 20 kilometers away. Mr. Beaver's not doing us no favors to see. Blocking off the river. Hey, Sack. And what a day today's been. We're, uh, but, whoop, almost fell in the, standing up in the canoe now. We're around seven hours in. We're doing good. Then we just got into some rocky, rocky rivers and little streams. Nothing but a trickle. Not even. And there was portages and everything else and it was absolutely terrible. There's more flies than fresh air. Anyways. Uh, we're getting close to Pike Lake. I don't know if we'll make it today. Got uh, around five kilometers or so. We'll see what happens. First, I gotta get the canoe down through that. And then behind there, the stream doesn't look too bad. Beaver dam's over there. Hidden behind the trees there, if you still don't see it. It's getting late, but we made it. This is a very narrow inlet of Pike Lake. We're into our 10th hour now. Look at the sun up there. Looks all weird. It's like it's hazy. Must be the overcast. Anyways, we gotta get across Pike Lake, uh, out through this inlet, and uh, find a campsite before it gets too late. So after the resupply tomorrow, and uh, before I left, I told Heather, my girlfriend, that we'll do a little gift exchange, and I'll take a gift with me that she does up in the little box, and I have it in there, it's in a card box, and in turn I did up a little scavenger hunt for her. So I had a few things left around the house, and uh, so it's all in good fun, breaks up the trip. We're apart from each other for, you know, a few months, which is a very long time. All right, this is Heather's gift. It's exciting. It's like Christmas in the woods or something like that. By the fire, you know. Oh. Can you see that? It's got north, south, east, west on it. Oh, my God. Wow, there's one of Heather and the dog there, it's tough to see, and there's one of me and Heather right here. Now, how cool is that? That's really nice. I miss Heather and Beer. Beer would love it out here. Little gift opening. I'm not going to wear this because I'll lose it. But it's definitely something to have. Good luck. I always have Heather and Beer with me. Good times.
This river's a bit dried up now, and so they all are. Uh, it's later in August, and it's slowing us down a bit this morning. I gotta get out and drag and push through some of these rocks. At least the current's going with us now. Stay, Sack. Stay. There we go. And what I see in the distance, just ahead of us, is our first sign of civilization in, well, 25 days. It's a pretty strange sight. We're about to go up there and have a look, bud. A nice one, Zach. <laughs> Get out, sack old boy. Hop out, old skip. Good boy. All right. Let's go see what's on the go. We've arrived at the lonely Orma Lake Road deep in Labrador's interior. Here we connect with our first resupply of the expedition. Stepping on a bit of concrete. That's where we just came from. Down through there. I'm just poking around now, try to find a good spot. Preferably a nice chunk of caribou moss to flick the tent down. A little camper up there. Prying myself down river today. I seem to have cracked my paddle. It's not bad, but it needs to, some tender loving care. Especially going out on the small wood. I can't have anything slowing me down. Not that this would be a big hindrance, but if the crack gets bigger, <coughs> sorry, it could really mess up that paddle. Duct tape is about all I can do here. Start with a strip like this maybe. I'm going to do one on the other side. This doesn't have to be a, a beauty pageant here. Just want a solid job. It's starting to look better. Hey buddy, what you doing bud? Hey, Taku. Taku Meister. So this is what we coasted in the resupply number one with. We got a dinner each, stir fry there for me. Saki got some kibble. I got one cliff bar, a couple packs of soup, some spice, two, three meals of oatmeal, and a cup of oil in this Nalgene bottle. So that's it. Enough for a day or two. I always keep a little extra kicking around. No matter how hungry I am, uh, it's good to have a little bit left over on the side on a trip like this because you don't know what's going to happen. Hey. Man, oh man, good to see you, brother. <laughs> How's it going? Awesome. Decent. How was the ride in, boys? Yeah. Was it? Is it a bad road or what? Last little bit. Five really hours. Up. Yeah? Hey, buddy. That's your How long? Five, Five hours, hours from Churchill Falls. You brought me a beer. Oh, I'm a little thirsty. Who told you Who told you I like India? <laughs> I read minds. What? I read minds. Eh? You read minds? Tell your missus. I'm not going to be able to move later. Oh, yeah, you're doing a... I'm down probably 10 pounds. Paul and his brother Steve are full of valuable tips. They've flown bush planes all over the Labrador 
and know it inside out. And stick to the north shore, cross over in front of woods that way. Once you're on that shore, you're safe. Because you're going to get a pound in on this shore of north west side. This is uh, no trees in this country, right? Yeah. They're all there. Depends on the weather. Everything works in favor of weather. If you stop yeah. 10 days for wind on Smallwood, right? That's one. You can get across Smallwood, and this system is big too. This is the Christmas sack? What do you think, bud? Thanks, boss. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. Paul, God love you. Yeah, say goodbye, Sack. He's having a good time. Don't you, Sack? Anybody? No beer is coming around with him there. Take care, boys. Next time I see another soul, it'll be another 30 odd days. What a feeling. Finally all loaded up, ready to go. We got a heavy load here, a real solid canoe. I got 30 days of food for us both going into this next section, but that means we're gonna be heavy going down this river. I'd be happy just to get down to Smallwood, uh, scope it out and get ready to start paddling big days tomorrow uh, if the weather cooperates. Hey, Sack. Sack you, ready to go, bud? Let's do it. As I suspected, rocky and very difficult going here today. Every time I dragged the canoe over a rock, I cringe. <sighs> Get me the small wood now. This stage, stage two, has the potential uh, with the 30 day, days of rations we have, it has the potential to be uh, four, five, six hundred kilometers long, even longer. Stay still, Satu. Right now, I can see uh, on the opposite side of this inlet of Smallwood, there is a nice ridge, a very high ridge. I can see it now. Now, we'll drag our canoe into the big water. It's too rocky to run. If we were a little lighter, we'd be able to do it. We might be able to hop in now. Let's try it out, Zach. Thank you. We 
made it, bud. This is it. I'm already into a dandy. Speckle there, Saku. <laughs> Look who I got back. Now we're ready for the long trail again. We should have enough supplies to reach Quebec. But first we must cross the big threatening waters of Canada's 10th largest lake, Smallwood Reservoir. Its western shore is at least 200 kilometers away. Join us in the next episode to see what lies ahead. <laughs> oh man. We're just trying to make some ground. On some islands. We're just coming up. That shampoo, that energy gel. 